Hey, it's Field Day, 2019, ARRL Field Day. Let's get into the video. Not a shot of my lovely garden, but actually this is my antennas hooked up here. So here's what I'm going to be using. I've done other videos on this antenna. Um, it's basically a 9 to 1 un un. And it goes up my MFJ pole way into the sky. So yeah, we're going to try that. Victor Echo 3, Charlie, November, United. Yeah, I think I had a uh, Kilo Officer 4, Sierra Bravo, if I got all of it, you're 5 eight, I'm not going to break through this pileup with 15 watts. That's what's going to happen. Anyway, let's tune around the other, see what else is on here. Here's the operating position. <sighs> Got my Diet Coke going. It's pretty warm out. Juliet and 
So, one thing I wanted to try on this video as well is uh, this new gimbal I've got. So, you can't see it because it's holding the camera right now, but I will uh, take a shot of it so you can see what it looks like. Um, it's kind of neat. I can move it all around and it holds the camera super steady. And it's got controls so I can do like pan and go up and down. take a picture with it. So I'm using one cell phone now to shoot another. So anyway, here's the gimbal. It's got, you know, full motors that keep it all uh, pointed on you. And there's the controls. Um, nice nifty little unit. And it wasn't a bad price. I think this is priced at 79 bucks US. Uh, if you're interested, I'll, I can put a link down in the description. Amazon link. Anyway. I love my toys. I gotta have more toys. And wherever I sit, I'm surrounded by my toys. There's my uh, fitness tracker. Ham radio. Two smartphones. <laughs> what more do you want? I've got to find a nice strong guy, see if I can... Mike Oster, Missouri. Missouri, Mike Oster, and I'm a one delta. Over. Victor Echo 3, Charlie November United. Victor Echo 3, Charlie November Uniform. Ending in November. Victor Echo 3, Charlie November Uniform. Victor Echo 3, Charlie November Uniform. NS9 Fox, 1 Echo North Florida. 
This radio doesn't get out. <laughs> it's not for contesting. I'm not going to 15 watts. I'm not going to compete with people. Uh, especially a lot of people are running one delta, which is uh, delta. The delta means that they're just using their home shock. And that's probably what my designation would be here, too, because I'm... I'm actually uh, powered by the mains, um, and I'm 15 watts, so I'm more than QRP. Um, so I would be one Delta Ontario operating here. I'm probably not going to make any contacts, in, but that's okay. I'm just going to uh, see how many, see how active the band is and stuff like that. And, Hope to hear some European stations. That would be nice. So let me tune uh, down into the 150 range and see what's going on down there. Stand by. Something I noticed with this radio, and yeah, it's, it's not a great radio, it's, you know, compact, um, is the AGC is very sensitive, so um, you need to ramp it up until the, the background noise increases as you turn it, and then it will start to not increase anymore. And that's sort of kind of like a hockey stick or a, an elbow where it kind of tops out. And so that's probably where you're getting your best bang for your buck as far as RF gain is concerned. But come across a strong station and it's you got to turn it way back down because it's distorting, it's overloading the input some input so yeah especially on this radio it's quite sensitive I've noticed to uh, that sort of thing so uh, there's no RF gain per se on this radio it's uh, AGC and I also find that it works just about right if the AGC is just flashing a bit with the signal don't need any more you're not getting any more it's that means that it's actually you know kicking in and reducing gain on the signal so right at the flickering stage is about the sweet spot anyway and that's probably true for uh, a lot of other radios but for this one yeah that's something what I'm finding is uh, the best way to use it um, okay uh, that's just something, some anecdote I wanted to add there. <laughs> 